Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Bool Tool add-on. This add-on comes with Blender, and so it's really easy to enable and use. And it's going to streamline your workflow when working with Booleans. Let's get into it. The Bool Tool add-on can be enabled by going to the Edit menu and Preferences. Under the Add-ons tab, type Bool into the search. You should get one result called Object Bool Tool. Go ahead and check the box. You can go ahead and close the Blender Preferences window now. Under your end panel, you'll have an edit menu. One of the submenus in that menu will be the Bool Tool menu. There are two modes that the Bool Tool works in, Auto Boolean and Brush Boolean. The Auto Boolean tools take the operation that you want to do and apply them immediately and then deletes your secondary object. Let me show you what I mean. If I take this cube and move it so it's intersecting the second one, and say I want to take the difference between these two objects. I simply select the one I want to be the cutter and then shift select the one that I want to be the main object. If I press the auto boolean difference, several steps happen at once. First, a difference boolean is added to the primary object, then it's applied, and then the secondary object is deleted. Once you have the bool tool enabled, there's now a shortcut key to do this exact same operation. If you press control shift numpad minus, it will do that operation. The same set of operations is used for union. A union boolean is added to the primary object, it's applied, and then the secondary object is deleted. Undoing that, the hotkey for the auto boolean union operation is control shift number pad plus. Undoing that, the intersect operation will add an intersect boolean to the primary object, apply it, and then delete the secondary object. The hotkey for that is Control shift number pad asterisk Finally, for Auto Boolean, there's a fourth operation that isn't found in the Boolean modifier. It's called Slice. What Slice will do is will create a duplicate of the primary object, apply a difference modifier between the primary object and the cutter, and apply an intersect between the newly created primary object and the cutter. Let me show you what that ends up looking like. Now I'm left with the primary object having had the secondary object differenced from it, and then the duplicate of the primary object intersected with the cutter object, and then the cutter object deleted. So now I have a perfectly fit piece in the hole that was created by the difference operation. After selecting the two objects, the hotkey for the slice operation is Control shift forward slash on the number pad, but there is another option you can do with the bool tool, and those are brush booleans. The brush boolean will set up the boolean modifiers like the auto boolean did, except it doesn't apply them, and it changes the display mode of the cutter object to wireframe. Let me show you what that looks like. Hitting the difference modifier, I see now that my primary object has had a boolean modifier added to it in difference mode. I also see that I my cutter see that object my cutter has been changed to wireframe mode. In addition, my cutter object has had its rendering option turned off. So if I were to render this scene right now, the cutter object wouldn't be rendered. What's nice about this mode is that the cutter object is still movable. So if for some reason I wanted to make adjustments to it, I could still do that. I can even still edit my cutter object. Undoing those options, the hotkey for adding a brush boolean difference is control minus. Adding a brush union is control plus. Adding a brush intersect is control asterisk. And adding a brush slice is control forward slash. With all four of those being the keys on the number pad. Once you've added a brush boolean, it will show up in your bool tool menu. From there, you can easily remove that boolean if you no longer want it, or you can apply it. You also have the option to hide the brush boolean objects. This doesn't delete them, it just hides them from the viewport. One of the nice things with these brush booleans is that they are stackable. So if I were to add another object here, select it, and then select my primary object again, and then added a brush boolean difference, I would see here that I have both the cube brush boolean 
and the Icosphere Brush Boolean. I can view them, remove them, change their order, all from here. At the very least, the hotkeys for adding Booleans using this tool are worth setting it up. So I'd highly recommend that you add this add-on. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, why don't you go ahead and do that? I'll catch you next time.